Hello everyone, my name is Emily and I'm an assistant youth and teen librarian here at Fayetteville Public Library and today I am back with the September theme for Box Book Society which is science fiction. If you are new to the Box Book Society, this is a program that we have here at Fayetteville Public Library for teens 7th through 12th grade where every month you can sign up to receive a box that has a book and some snacks and some other goodies inside of it and then at the end of the month we always meet um, virtually or in person to discuss the book and anything else that might pertain to the genre. This is a video that I like to put out at the beginning of every month, just talking about some other books in the genre that teens might like. Some of them are my personal favorites, some of them I haven't read. For this one, it's a little tricky because science fiction spans across so many different topics. Um, so I'm going to throw in some like apocalyptic books. Um, we've got dystopian, um, aliens, where you can get more into extreme sci-fi that takes place in space. So I'm going to try to cover all the basic is today our September pick for 2021 is Renegades by Marissa Meyer. This one I would put more in the realm of science fantasy. Um, it deals with superheroes and it deals with a kind of semi dystopic world um, where for about 20 years there was just pure anarchy. There was no government, there was no police force, there was just chaos um, because a group of people decided to overthrow the government because the government was unjust, um, but that kind of backfired in a way. And so this picks up where there's a group of people called the Renegades, and they are basically a vigilante justice system. So they are the ones that are going around helping people, saving lives, stealing from the rich to give back to the poor, etc, etc. And the Renegades are the ones that have these supernatural abilities. We have two main characters. One is named Nova, and she has a reason to hate the Renegades. But when she attempts to enact her revenge, she meets Adrian, who is a renegade's boy, and both of them kind of discover that their world as they know it is not so black and white. Um, this is the first in a trilogy by Marissa Meyer. This is a best-selling series. Um, there is an adaptation in the works. This is definitely one to get excited about. So, like I said, we will be discussing this at the end of September. Our meeting will be on Monday, September 27th at 5 p.m. Now I want to talk about some of my favorite science fiction books from when I was your age and even a couple that I've read within the past year. So the first series that I wanted to talk about is called Shatter Me by Tahar Mafi, which you may recognize that author's name. We did read her one of her books in May, um, but before she wrote contemporary books, she did write a science fiction series called Shatter Me. So in this series, our main character, Juliet, has a lethal touch. Um, so where we start off with her, she is imprisoned because she has killed someone. We don't really know the circumstances around it. We just know that she thinks she is a horrible person because of whatever she did. Um, and she gets pulled from this facility um, to be kind of monitored and studied by a sector of the government that is run by a very cranky, very arrogant young captain and his one of his personal soldiers who he ends up entrusting with Juliet's safety. Now this soldier is someone that Juliet knows from her past from school. Um, so as they get further into you know whatever they're doing to her studying testing she gets closer to this boy and they decide that they need to break out run away defy their government. Um, that's not exactly what goes down, but basically you learn that there's a lot more behind the scenes than what everyone is letting on. Um, there are six books in this series. It is one of my all-time favorite series. Um, if you are a fan of The Hunger Games, if you're a fan of The Maze Runner, Legend, which I will talk about next, um, this book is great. I love it. There's a crazy love triangle. Um, 
it has all the elements that a good science fantasy, science fiction series needs. Um, so that is Shatter Me by Taha Mafi. The next book I want to talk to you guys about is Legend by Maria Liu. And this one might hit a little too close to home just because it does have to do with a plague. Um, it takes place in a dystopian world where the government has decided that teens will be tested and if you test above a certain IQ level you go straight into university but if you test under a certain IQ level you're sent away as like a labor force. Now we have two main characters in this one. Our first main character is June and she is the daughter and the sibling of these very high-powered officials in the military um, and she is the youngest in her class at her university and she's on track to becoming yet another high-powered official in the family. Now when her brother is murdered um, by a young runaway, she decides to hunt him down and kill him. Now our second main character is said runaway who in fact did not kill her brother and was framed for it because he escaped being murdered by the government because he didn't pass the test. Now this series has a whole lot of layers. It's crazy, action-packed, fast-paced, basically it's another, you know, if you enjoy The Hunger Games, it is definitely for you. And the next series that I want to talk to you guys about is called Scythe by Neil Shusterman. Now in this world, they have gotten to the point where they have eradicated death, disease, all kinds of illnesses, um, and they have to employ certain people and train certain people to be grim reapers in society and choose who dies so that they can have population control. Our main two characters as teens are chosen to train to become sides and their entire career, their entire life goal is to choose who lives and who dies. This is another trilogy by Neil Shusterman, who is one of my favorite science fiction horror authors. Um, if you're more into the scarier stuff, but he has some really great teen novels that are just... But he does dystopian perfectly. Again, one of the best, probably one of the best science fiction authors on the market today. Okay, so now I want to shift a little bit into more of the books that deal with outer space, space travel, stuff like that. So there is one book that I read earlier this year. It is called Sia Martinez and the Moonlit Beginning of Everything, and it deals with a girl named Sia who her mother was deported a couple years back and the last they heard, the last her and her father had heard of, from her mother was when she contacted them to tell them that she was crossing the border back into the United States illegally but she never showed up and so every couple of nights Sia will go out to the desert and light a candle for her mother for safe travel home. When one night Sia is out there with her science partner when they see something crash in the desert. When they go out to investigate, it turns out that it's a flying saucer. It's a UFO that crashed in the middle of the desert and none other than Sia's mother steps out of it. This book is a wild ride. I read it in one day. It is ridiculously fun. Um, it keeps you on your toes. If you love paranormal things, alien related things, um, there's a little bit of romance in this one as well. It is perfect for you. It's great. My final recommendation is one that I actually just read within the past couple of months. It came out on June 1st, so we're actually still trying to get it within the library. It's on order. It's called The Darkness Outside Us by Elliot Schriefer. And this is another one that just absolutely blew me out of the water. It is kind of like a space opera where... So basically, our main character, our main character Ambrose, is chosen to take a space mission from Earth. This takes place thousands of years in the future when the Earth has kind of battled out and there's only two sectors of Earth left. Now, our main character Ambrose is from one sector and he is chosen to go rescue 
the first settler on Saturn's moon, but there's a catch. Someone from the other sector also has to go with him. So not only is he going to be basically alone in space, it's probably the only thing worse. He's trapped with an enemy in space. And so he has to go through the motions with this stranger, who is also an enemy, um, to rescue the settler from Titan, who has sent out a distress signal. And this settler also happens to be Ambrose's older sister. So he has an emotional stake in this as well. But as things start to unravel, things go wrong around the ship. There's an AI system that seems a little too familiar and a little too invasive in their lives and I don't know if I can really tell you anything else because it's one twist after another it's so I loved this book another one that I read in a day um it definitely will have you on the edge of your seat until the end for a book that is advertised as a fun space adventure it gets dark um so if you're not a huge fan of sad stories, dark stories. Don't get into this one, but also it's very sweet. It deals a lot with, you know, loneliness and a need for companionship, especially, you know, in space when there's literally no one out there, but it's definitely worth a try. This author is a National Book Award winner. You know, since it came out a couple months ago, I haven't heard anything but amazing things from other reviewers. Um, it's one of my favorite books of the year. I highly, highly recommend this one. And that is all that I have for science fiction. Do not forget, we are meeting for Renegades at the end of the month on the 27th at 5 p.m. We've got some fun stuff coming up in the fall. For October, we're reading spooky books. So I'll be talking about um, urban fantasy, paranormal romance. I'll be talking about some horror as well. And then in November, we'll be tackling a graphic novel, one of my favorite graphic novels called Nimona by Noelle Stevenson. And we'll be talking about other graphic novels in the teen section. Um, we've got some great ones over here. We are very excited to discuss Renegades with you at the end of September. Um, pace yourself on this one because it is quite large, but it seems like it's going to be a really fun read. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!